Good morning. It is Share Your Studio Day here on Patreon and I thought I would do a quick video of my studio. It's not a huge room. It's a spare bedroom in my house. I actually kind of have two parts to the studio. So I have my computer office uh, podcasting area and then I have my sewing space. So we're going to start with the sewing space first. I'm going to give you um, a few things to look at around the whole room here as, as I talk about them. So first up we have the back of my door. It is full of stuff. I've got um, items that I'm ready to send out for uh, grading for my patterns. I've got electrical cords stored here, extra tape measures. Um, this is a giant broom. I have little notes at the top which say do not enter because no matter what I do somebody wants to walk in on my videos when I'm making them. So I have to tape those on the door or I have problems. Um, then over on the next wall is my pattern making supplies. I usually hang my rulers and stuff in here, um, but these are all the patterns that I have in the works. You can see there's quite a few of them. I've got lots of ideas that I'm really excited about. So my next section here is my bulletin board, and this is sort of conglomeration of all my ideas. I'm very visual and I like to see things and um, be able to move them around and, and decide which direction I want to go with stuff. So let's see if I can... No, that doesn't do anything. Okay, anyway, here it is. So I kind of have them separated by month. I've got little swatches, notes, um, embroidery thread chart, measurements for dress forms, business cards, sewing samples, embroidery samples, headphones, all kinds of stuff. Down here are my tools. This is um, my little rolling cart has all my Cricut supplies in it, pens, pencils. I have all my calendars stacked up over here by my Cricut maker. You can see all that, sketchbooks. And then we get to the sewing area. So this is my ancient serger, it's an Elna lock, it is 25 years old, and I love it, it works like a crazy. I've got thread over there, miscellaneous projects going on. My main machine is the Husqvarna Viking, and I love it, I use it every single day. Um, on the bulletin board here, I've got sewing supplies, thread, paper, scissors, um, booklets, just everything I need. I like to have things at an arm's reach, so that's where most of my stuff sits. Uh, over here, these are projects in progress. And this is my video setup for when I do videos. Um, I use an iPad on a stand, and it works about 90% of the time. At some point, I'd like to upgrade a little bit. It's a little bit short for me. I'm 5'8", and this is probably 5'6", so I always feel like I have to squat to be in the frame. Uh, over here, my ironing board. Yesterday's projects are laying around. And then this is kind of my storage for fabrics I'm not using at the moment or ideas that haven't quite come to fruition. Along here, I've got my um, Cricut Easy Presses down at the bottom there. And in my closet, wait till you see this, is full of fabric all kinds of fabric. I've got small pieces hanging in the vertical hanger um, here and then large pieces towards the back. Those are all things I have in mind for future use but don't have a place for them at the moment. It could be more organized but that's the way it is. So over here on my table is my current project. Um, I'm making a night shirt with this beautiful leopard embroidery. And that'll be coming up soon. It's this pattern here. You can see that, Simplicity 1504. And I'll have a lot more video content on that as well. Over here, I've got my uh, current fabrics I'm working with and um, more, more projects down there on the floor that I haven't gotten to lately. So this is my dress form. It's a professional form. And it's a size 8. It's a little bit small. I'd rather have a size 20, but 
Um, that's industry standard, so that's what I'm using right now. Over here, we have some of my hat collection. I love hats, and I've been picking them up, and I store them on these foam heads here, along with miscellaneous other things. These boxes have patterns in them, um, more patterns, supplies, reference books, that kind of thing. And that, my friends, is pretty much the whole studio. So let me take you over to the podcasting area, my computer. So this room is also a spare bedroom and it's kind of nice to be able to have a separate space for this. However, it'd make my life so much easier if it was all in one room. So someday I want to move into a space where I have just one large space instead of two small ones. But for now, this is what we've got. So here's my desk. I use a large uh, Macintosh computer and a Waco tablet for different things. Uh, my podcasting setup is over here. I have a um, microphone. This um, device keeps the sound from um, becoming too crisp with the mic. And uh, I sit here and do all my podcasting there. And then over on this side of the room, I've got my pattern making table. It's kind of a mess. This is how I really live right now. And um, here's my latest pattern over here. So that's pretty much it. The office is pretty basic. That's about all there is. Um, I have a closet full of stuff that I really need to get rid of but that's the story for now and uh, thanks for watching have a great day bye bye